Hi, I'm Laura Tinzo. Today, I want to do a short question and answer session on my newly published book, From the Inside Out, 40 Days to Calvary. It's been four weeks since this book was published, and during this time, I have toured around a little bit. I have presented the book to groups of people, to individuals. I have talked about it on social media. And some questions have been coming up. So today I thought I answer all these questions with one video. Okay? I thought I'd take one stone and shoot many birds. So without wasting much time, let us go straight into the questions. But before we begin, I just want to say I'm not going to uh, take these questions in order of merit okay there is no question which is more important than the other when i was going to school i was told that there is no stupid question but sometimes when i asked my questions the other students and even the teachers sometimes laughed at me but anyway today we are not laughing at anybody because every question is important so first question is this book only for catholics the answer is n o no how can it be only for Catholics? This is a book about fasting and prayer and meditation. Okay. Mark 2, in Mark chapter 2, <clears throat> we see the disciples of John the Baptist grumbling and complaining against the disciples of Jesus because they were not fasting. And what happened? Jesus told them, don't worry about this, my boys here. Um, they cannot fast now because I am still with them. But the time is coming when the bridegroom, me, or Jesus, will be taken away from them. And then they will fast. So Jesus did not say, and then if they feel like it, they can fast. Or, and then if they like. It was not a proposal. Neither was it a suggestion. He actually expected that they will fast on a regular basis. Why fast? What does fasting do? This is one of the questions that I answer in this book. Fasting helps us to slow down from the busyness of the day because we are living in a very fast paced, you know, life. We are always running, 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 doing, doing, doing. Um, so sometimes it's really important for us to slow down a little bit, take a short break, you know, Calm down, look at things from another perspective, from God's perspective. And most often when we come to this, you know, to this place where we are a bit quiet, we are a bit still, uh, we discover the solutions to most of our difficulties. Also, fasting helps us to um, detach ourselves from things that are becoming, you know, a distraction to us. Um, um, that is why in this book, I focus on, you know, I, I encourage us not only to focus on fasting from food, but to focus on fasting from other things that may be making us lose focus of the important things in life. So at the end of the day, fasting helps us to draw closer to God. Fasting gives us the strength to overcome the challenges of life. So it cannot be limited only to Catholics. However, because I am a Catholic and because I share my personal experiences with fasting, with prayers, you are going to come across some things which are particular to the Catholic faith. For example, going to, to, to attending Mass on Sunday or attending morning Mass. I cannot call it a different name. It is Mass. So if I have a testimony, if I have a story about that, then I'm going to write that I attend Mass. Praying the Rosary is part of my prayer routine. So I'm not going to call it a different name. It will be the Rosary. But I'm not asking you to attend Mass. I'm not asking you to pray the Rosary. Except, of course, the Holy Spirit is inspiring you to do that. So, no, this book is not only for Catholics. Second question, is it only for Lent? Again, no, it's not only for Lent. The subtitle, 40 Days to Calvary, is inspired by the season of Lent, of course, because 
even though fasting and prayers is supposed to be, uh, you know, part and parcel of our Christian experience, we are supposed to do that more on a regular basis, but Lent remains the most prominent time where this, you know, this exercise is done, okay? During Lent, even atheists, even people who don't believe in God, talk about fasting. Some of them actually give up chocolate. Some of them actually give up um, smoking for that time. So this, uh, uh, this book is not only for the season of Lent. You can use it at any time. You can use it for any number of days. The chapters in this book, the days in this book, are independent of each other. So you don't need to have read chapter one to be able to connect to chapter three. Each day has its own program. It, ha it has its own uh, points to ponder. It has its own prayer. It has its own action to take. Okay. So each day is independent. If you say you want to fast only for three days, pick any three days and, 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 and use nine days. You pick any nine days, 21 days, the same. If you say, Laura, 40 days is too little for me. I want, you know, I am really inspired this time. You know, this uh, problem must be solved by hook or by crook. I want to do 80 days. I want to do 160 days. No problem. You go through the book. You have 40 days. Start again from chapter one. Have another 40 days. Again from chapter one, another 40 days. Again from chapter one, another 40 days. And then you have 160 days. There you go. Um, next question. Lent has already started, Laura. I kind of missed the memo. So what do I do now? Um, should I just wait till next year? You know, I think that's what makes sense so that I can do the 40 days. No, no, no. Don't wait till next year. Don't wait till next year. Grab your copy right now and get on board. Okay? Get on board. It is better for you to fast and pray for 10 days this year rather than planning for 40 days next year which may never come i know where you're getting such ideas from because the enemy who doesn't like us to do anything that draws us closer to god will be trying to convince you oh no don't worry Lent is already over why do start you know halfway or 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 or, or, or do just a little a little part of it when next year you can you know you can really prepare well and focus and take the 40 days next year so don't worry now you've already missed it this time don't worry when he tells you that next time Come near him and say, you are a liar. Get thee behind me. Yes. So it's never too late. It's never too early. The time is now. The day is here. The Bible says nobody knows the time or the hour. We are not assured of tomorrow. The only thing we are assured of is now because we are here now. Okay. So don't waste time. Don't waste time. Get on board and start the journey. Okay. Start the journey from wherever you can meet it. Um, another question, where can I order my copy? This book is available on Amazon. So you can go to Amazon and order your copy. But you want to be careful. If you're going to order from Amazon, you make sure you are ordering from the Amazon of your country of residence. Okay. So if you're in Germany, you go to Amazon.de. You are in America. Dot com. You're in Canada.ce. You're in France. FR. That's right. Because if you are in Germany and you order from America, it now becomes an intercontinental order. So it's going to take extremely long and the shipping cost is going to be extremely much. Is that good English? Anyway, so please just make sure you're ordering from the Amazon, which is closest to you however you can also order directly from me and if you're ordering from me you have a couple of advantages first i am going to sign it for you i'm going to write something in here for you especially for you and secondly if you order in the next two weeks you will have this special edition do you see the date when it was produced 7th of march 
that is my birthday so these books are a special birthday present for me from god so i'm very excited and uh, yes you can order directly from me those in germany even those in europe i can post them to you um next question very interesting one how much does it cost so like i said i've been presenting this book to people okay so most often when i meet somebody you know me in my excitement i'm like hey look i just published the book have you had a look at my book take look at it look at it look at it and then the person takes it and and looks at the picture oh wow and then they start looking oh wow you wrote this oh my god this is so beautiful what is the book about and then i would say i would tell the person it's a 40 days uh, plan for fasting and prayers you know you have uh, uh, points to meditate on you have prayers you have little actions you can make to spice up your your faith journey and things like that and they're like oh it's so it's so good it's so wonderful how much does it cost and then when i say 15 euros the person will say okay wonderful um i have your number i'm going to call you and i say amen i'm waiting for your call so this book cost 15 dollars 98 on amazon.com okay 15 dollars 98 on amazon.de i hear it is 16 euros 19 or so and it really baffles me because normally euros should be you know the euro euro price should be below the dollar price but somehow this one is instead above it so i don't know the kind of calculator amazon uses i don't know the kind of conversion rates they are using i just play by the rules so i just play by the rules but i really pray and i hope that this little discrepancy in the conversion will not uh, prevent you from obtaining a book that by god's grace may have the potential to to help you grow in faith to really be a blessing to you okay um another question which i get asked is um how can I get a copy in Cameroon? Cameroon, a beautiful country, Cameroon. Yes, um, actually, I have an offer from a publishing company who is ready to bring this book to the Cameroon market, publish it for the Cameroon market. But there's just a little issue. The publisher is presently in prison we all know what's going on in cameroon he asked me to pray for him to pray for him so that and the other guys so that they can be released and uh, he can get things rolling with the book but i mean let's forget about the book i just want to invite you to join me in praying praying for our country cameroon praying for our beloved nation Things are really rough. There is so much pain. Husbands are, 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 are in prison, separated from their wives. Mothers are crying because their sons have been killed. Some don't even know where their children have been taken to. There is just so much uncertainty. When I talk to my mom, she tells me, Lord, we are just living in perpetual fear. We don't know what tomorrow holds. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God let us keep on praying let us keep on praying let's not get weary let's not get weary of of praying let us not get weary of doing what we need to do this struggle is for a good cause it is for a better tomorrow not only for us for our children for our children's children for our great 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 grandchildren so let us really keep the faith and uh, continue to 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 trust in god let us continue to pray and know that God's time is the best. He has great plans for us. And before we know it, this nightmare will be over. So that is it. Um, I hope I did answer your question. If I didn't do that, no problem. Just catch up with me on Facebook or on WhatsApp and we'll sort things out. Okay. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and share it. And uh, I hope it was a blessing to you. Remain blessed. Laura, checking out. Bye.